are just in time to meet our next act. Take a look. I started out as a performer. I love performing. I build all my stuff, and then people go backstage and say, who built that? I go, I, go, I did. And next thing you know, they say, hey, why don't you build me something? And then now look at me. I'm one of the top magic builders in the world. When I build a magic prop, I never want to be ordinary. I want my work to be extraordinary. When I finish a prop, I make sure it works perfectly. I know it'll last a lifetime because it has my name on it. When you devote yourself to being the best, it pays off big time. I'm bringing the same passion I have for building to the stage tonight. Penn and Teller, you might know me as a fabricator, but wait till you see me perform. Give it up for Ray Lum. Magicians perform a wide variety of illusions. Some perform miracles with a deck of cards. Some impossibly predict the future. I defy death. But I don't step on stage and put my life and limb at risk. That would be unprofessional. Many hours of practice goes into my dangerous stunt. Because if I don't stay razor sharp, I get hurt. Tonight, I'm going to give you a peek behind the curtain to see how a magician prepares to defy death. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the device I used to train with. The blade spins at 2,000 RPMs, can cut a bone as easily as these carrots. In a moment, I'm gonna shackle myself in this device, locking my arm underneath the blade. My current fastest escape from this saw is 10 seconds. But tonight, on Pin and Teller Fullest, I'm gonna set this blade to drop at five. There's two safeties built into this unit. If it gets into this danger zone right here, this red light will come on. If I feel like I can't escape on time, well, I can always pull this emergency stop switch. Okay, first things first is, remove the jacket and put my arm through here. Put the single handcuff on here. Locking it with a lock pin. The lock. Make sure everything is real tight here, okay? <laughs> to help me with my escape, all I have is my wits and this lucky lock pick. Here we go. Oh man. Oh man, that's what the... Oh man, no! Stop this thing already! What the... Whoa! God! Oh God, this is not right! Oh, Allison, wait, drop my hand! No! No, give me, give me a hand! Oh God, this hurts! You know, oh God, lucky, lucky there's no blood. Oh God, I smoked this... Throw it into here. Oh, thanks, Allison. Yes, oh, sir. yeah, God. Oh, lucky I got this medical tool here. Now that's how you practice magic, so you end up not getting hurt. Ray Lum. Oh. Oh. So that's a great device. Is that an antique? Yes, I'm a uh, restoration artist. So and you see all the intricate stuff, you go, man, how are they thinking about this stuff in the, what, 50s? Yeah, so, and amazing. does that inspire you to build new things? That's what inspires me. So you've been building magic tricks for 30 years? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you know everyone's secrets. Pretty much, pretty much. That's how you become a successful builder because you have to know every trick in the book. Aha. Uh -huh. Did you dream of like having this kind of workshop? Well, when I was a kid, all the magic builders were selling these big props for like thousands of dollars and I couldn't afford it. So I said, well, why not I just build that? Yeah. And then you end up building stuff that's 10 times better. And then people, you know, seek you out and one thing led, led to another. Nice. All right. Let's see if Penn and Teller saw through your trick. <laughs> <laughs>
Hey, Ray. Hey, how you doing? You know, you are a person after our own heart. We love this kind of stuff, this good-natured celebration of life by faking uh, accidents and death. You know, that's a really nice prop, because most times on the wrist thing, the hand just goes out of sight. It doesn't pop out. And I want to tell you that it's a, it's a very good-looking hand. As, uh, as a couple of guys who fabricated a lot of fake hands in our day, that's a good-looking one. you got a fine hand, my friend, a fine hand. And um, the whole thing is just fun and goofy and funny and terrific. And, uh, and it's a... Uh, it's a wrist chopper. <laughs> well... But, I wanted to do this for you because I want to pay homage to you. That's, oh, thanks that's so fun. much. And it's, uh, it was a wonderful act, and uh, we, share, we share the same sensibilities. Thanks a lot for coming on. Thank You're you. You're a great night. Thank, thank you. Let's give you a hand, shall we? Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> so, Ray, they know how it works. Oh, of course. You're geniuses. Come on. <laughs> well, you didn't fool them, but you sure grossed me out. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Ray, thank you, guys. Oh. All this great magic, and we've still got more. Penn and Teller perform next, so stick around.